Hi guys, how are you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel and as always, Autodidactic means to be self-educated and guys, you want to be self-educated in this world because they are telling us his story and not our story. There's lots and lots going on out there and that's gone on in our past that's been hidden from us but um, now the physical evidence is coming to light which is great and because of the internet we get to share it with each other and uncover what our story is. Alright, I hope you're having an amazing day. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about star forts in Australia. Yes, that's right. I've been on the hunt and I've found, um, definitely found some. I've found three that I would say are definite and one uh, might need a bit more investigation, but uh, let's get into this. All right, so we're going to start off in Sydney, Australia, and this is called Middlehead Fort. Now, this is in the middle of um, Sydney Harbour, which is the biggest natural harbour in the world. You can see how big it is. It keeps going, and we're just right out on this point here. Middlehead Fort in Mossman. So we'll go down and straight away you can see now this one is an old one. Um, <laughs> all of the ones that I've found in Australia are fairly covered up but the signs are still there. Alright, let's get this down a bit so um, oh, can I move that? <laughs> there we go. Alright, so you can see this star formation here. Now this has obviously been altered. This was turned into a fort uh, for World War II, is what we're told. Um, this was, you know, to defend Sydney against Japanese invasion, basically. And you can see that, that they have come in and they've, they've changed, you know, they've put different things in. There's a tunnel here. Uh, there seems to be a tunnel system. Um, see that door in there? Um, but I'm not sure if that was there before or after. Now we have also these um, circular holes that we see everywhere. Now these, um, they're telling us were built for cannon or for putting cannons or uh, anti-aircraft craft guns on, um, which may be true. So they may be retrofitted. But what I'm really looking at is just you know this wall here. Now I'm not sure what goes on there. It looks like there was. If you you can kind of see that kind of shape. And we've got this bit out here. Okay. Um, I come back here a bit. You can also just just the look of this cliff. You know, I know it's all broken up and that, but you know, we've got bits like this, these big triangles popping out, uh, more there and there. And then we have more of the fort down here. You can see there's more tunnels going in to the ground. A bit more down here with another anti-aircraft uh, gun. And we do have some more points out here. So this looks like, you know, it's it's pretty old, obviously. Whoops, what happened there? Um, and so it's it's not it's not in a good state of repair. Most of it's probably under the ground still, as with most of these sites. Uh, there is a little outpost down here. Where it looks like you can still see some of the original walls coming along here. And then we kind of lose it. It is another big strange rock down here, but I mean, and it, it's hard to work out around the edge. But you do get these these bits popping out. Okay, uh, and obviously a big sign of um, star forts being in the ground, being covered up, is you find all around the place just angles, triangles, you know, things like this, just for no, you know, apparent reason. You know, so this has definitely got signs. I would say this is a definite star fort. Now we also have, I mean, you can see this wall running along here too. There's been bits built into it, but it's still got that that star shape to it, like the outlines. And if we come into the town, uh, that's the wrong way. Sorry, <clears throat> in here. Okay, can you see that? Just with the lines here, we have this goes in here, out, down in here, and that's a, a proper point there. You can see, looks like there's some walls still there. 
and then the wall comes out and goes down here and around down here then it gets a little bit harder to see and you can see it's on the inside as well so we've got double walls and this looks like a you know canal or moat or something or you know the, the remnants of one so you can see that through there now out here just down on the cliff you can see there's not a bit of a wall it's just just telltale signs like this like this and like this see that angle in there like that so it looks like it's fallen off and even if you kind of look at the bottom strata here it's just kind of got that look hasn't it you know with angles and stuff obviously it's, it's old and it's been worn and hammered a bit but it's just kind of these signs everywhere um, I think that's a road there but yeah so this is uh, what is it south south head middle head and there again see that big point there you can just sort of make out these angles you know in the landscape you can see that one a bit better there and it comes around and you can sort of see it so it looks like it may have been there yeah, the whole sort of point was the star fort um, I mean that's probably the best most telling part but you know it's all been retrofitted into to fit anti gun you know anti aircraft guns and ta uh, cannons and things but there's just little telltale signs so there we go middle head main fort whoops middle head fort mossman sydney australia all right so let's go to the second one now this one i think you'll like this one is in my home state of Western Australia. It's way out in the middle of the desert. And there it is. Oops, what's popped up there? Go away. Uh, okay, and there we go. You can see this one is pretty much, um, obviously you can't get like a, a ground view out here, but it, it looks like it might be raised a little bit. But it looks like it's pretty much this, this corner's under the ground. I'm not sure if that's part of it. You know, it comes in like this. So we've got the proper star there. It looks old and worn and, and just out in the middle of nowhere. Like this is literally where it is, guys. That's just all desert. Um, like there's literally, there's nothing out there. There's, you know, a few bits of de desert scrub. And it's in the middle of this really barren area. Um, <clears throat> and I've sort of had a look. I need to get some filters I kind of had a look in the ground um, for you know because you can normally see bits of, of the bigger star fort and you know there's a couple of little bits around that look like they might be you know something um, but yeah I, I need to get a filter or something on so I can kind of see what's more under the surface there but you can kind of see there's bits around but I mean that there there you go star fort found Western Australia all right number three now we're going to go to Tasmania the island off the south coast of Victoria and here we have uh, this is called kangaroo bluff um, a bluff in Australia I'm not sure if the other parts of the world call them bluffs it's just a, a bit of land that juts out into the ocean normally a hill and here we go kangaroo bluff star fort and you can see that there and this one still has the um, pentagon around it. We've got one, two, three, four, five sides, pentagon shape. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one as well, you can see it's raised up off the ground. Um, let's, we might be able to get a ground view here. Let's have a look. Whoa. Okay, so here we are. Oops. Cutting off the trees. Just get around here. Yeah, you can see these are the walls. They're still there. And it looks like, you know, they're, they're, um, there's mounds and things everywhere. It looks like this has got tunnels in it too. But um, so it's a bit above the ground. Um, 
but as you can see it looks like it's you know it's all covered and you can see the outer rings you know you can see the levels in this one it goes out like that and again no doubt there's there's more around the landscape and and this is the thing again if you look out you just see these triangle type shapes just you know kind of for no reason um, you know here we have another one it's just sort of cut in we've got this funny bit of land here in this angle cut out there so this may be be a wall this may be part of the original wall here because it's just got that 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 shape they have on their bastion sometimes those funny ones but yeah so that's the thing that's a definite starport um buried up but there's no doubt there'd be a lot more going on under the ground um but yeah we can definitely see that one all right and let's go to number four now this one is actually in my home state as well and here we go this is actually close to me this is so i'm gonna have to go and check this out because this is a maybe all right this is Fremantle war memorial in perth western australia so this is literally 15 minutes from where i live and as you can see we've got this oh uh, you know the the base sort of shape um, but with this one, this is the thing, we've got these rounded corners. Now I have seen these before, um, a couple of examples of things like this in, in um, on different continents. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not really sure what the connection is and if, they're, if, if that's retrofitted or what the deal is. Um, but the reason is it just has this look, you know, it looks like it's raised up. Um, and you can see around here, you know, it's been it's raised up off the ground, and again, it seems to have this pentagon kind of pattern. If you can see that out to there and across and kind of out there, um, so it has that shape to it, and then it just has, you know. <laughs> triangle bits you know in the landscape for no apparent reason um, you know all angles so like I said this is a, a definite maybe and I need to get down there to um, you know to have a, a bit more of a look around we'll see what we can see here no, come on. All right, so there it is. Um, you can see there's a nice big obelisk in the middle, and I don't know if you noticed, but that's a, one of those circles with you know the four entrances that you see everywhere. And you can see, yeah, you can't really see too much, but you can see it hills off down there. So I'm going to get down to this and actually have a look in person, get some some shots for you. I have been there, but obviously it was before I sort of. Um, was was looking at things as star forts or mud flood you know kind of buildings but so you can just kind of make out see there see that and there's sort of these shapes in the in the so it looks like two walls an inner and an outer almost another one there I don't know there's something about this just about the, the way it looks like I said more investigation is needed so that's it guys Four star forts found so far in Australia. Now I know there is another one that people uh, do mention a lot, which is called um, Fort. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember. Let's just go quickly to Sydney. Um. I've, I've had a look at this. I'm just not, yeah, really sure if this is um, a star fort or if I can find it. Is that it there? No, but oh god, look at that! Oh, what have we just stumbled across? Oh. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? All right. This was just completely on the fly, guys, but I may have found something else there. Yeah, there's another point there. Look at that. See, just when I saw that, what I looked, what I jumped out at me was just these angles here. 
this top bit just jumped out and then it goes all the way around. Look at that. So this is obviously an island uh, in Sydney Harbour. I have no idea what it's called. I was looking for a different one. But um, all right, let's mark this live. Um, let's go, Starport, Sydney Harbour. All right, okay, pretty happy with that, guys. So um, now we've got five star forts in Australia. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Um, what have we got here? This is another island. Let's, oh, God. Really? What the hell? I don't know. Let's look at that. Jeez, what is that? Because that, that, oh, I wish I could get a better picture of it. Um, all right, are you seeing what I'm seeing there, guys? Just, just markers, you know, double walls and things, points, look at that. Um, now this is Clark Island Reserve. Ah, I'm, I'm I'm just going to mark that because that definitely needs more investigation. Um, yeah, right. Okay, so we're doing this on the fly, guys. Live star fort finding um, stuff. What was it? Clark Reserve, I think. Clark Island Reserve. All right. We are, fi are officially on the hunt, guys. If I can find quickly this island that I'm actually looking for, is that it? I think that might be it. That's it. Okay. Um, so this is Fort. Um, will you give me the name? No. The name's just escaping me at the moment. Um, but this one, obviously, we have. Now, this as well has got these rounded bits. But I'm just not sure. We've got this wall here, but it's, it's you know, it's got no no star protrusions or anything like that. It's kind of rounded into here, so I'm just not sure about this one. Oh, gosh. I need to get my license for Google Earth, I think. Um, now, we do have this wall that has the bend in it, but um, that's, you know, if we could see under the water, you know, that would be amazing, Google Earth, if you could give us access again like we used to have. Um, then we can see more, but just as it is, I'm just, I don't know. There's not a lot of markers to call that a star fort. Um, but like I said, if we can get underwater, because it could have just been completely retrofitted. I did see one thing down here, which looks like the remnants of an old wall. And it just does have that, that one sort of rampart on it, but then it looks like a curse. So not sure about this one. Um, I know this is one that, that a lot of people sort of put up as a star fort in Australia, and I really wish I could find its name. Port. Oh, gosh. I can't remember, but when I make the video, I shall put it in uh, in text underneath because I'll have a look and find it for you guys. Um, but, yeah, that's that's, yeah, that definitely would need more more evidence to say that that one's a star fort in my opinion. All right, guys, I hope you like that. Um, yeah. What did we get up to? Five, five star forts in Australia, two on the fly, hunting star forts in Sydney Harbour. All right, guys, uh, have an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed that one. Please, if you like this content, like, share it, subscribe, leave me a comment, uh, hit the bell, then you'll get notifications on my next uploads. Um, and yeah, as much, um, you know, if you can, the more interaction we get here, the more that Google will put these videos out in front of a new audience. Um, hopefully we get through December 10 uh, when all the new changes are coming in. Uh, there's talk of, you know, a lot of channels that are presenting, um, you know, non-mainstream views are going to be taken down. So um, I am currently finding somewhere to upload my videos just in case that happens. Uh, so I will keep you informed with that. And as always, guys, stay autodidactic because self-education 
is the way forward. Uh, down below, like my Facebook page, Instagram, and there's also some t-shirts if you want to check them out. Have an amazing day. Thanks for watching, and I shall catch you on the next upload. Bye for now.